so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be covering problem f that was l shapes from round 817 that was a d4 round so let's start with the problem so in the problem uh, we were given a n cross m grid we were given a n cross m grid where n and m both are less than 50 so let me copy a grid so we can draw it so we have a grid something like this in which some of the cells are colored some of the cells are colored right for example something like this and you have to answer in either yes or no you have to answer in either yes or no if it is possible to form the entire grid just out of l shapes right just out of l shapes if it is possible to form the entire grid just out of l shapes so if you don't know what i what l shapes are these are just three cells in the form of an l so something like this right so these are all the l shapes so you have to answer in either yes or no that if it is possible to create the entire grid just out of l shapes and the second condition is that no to l shapes should share a corner or an edge no to l shapes should share a corner or an edge so if we have to see some examples uh, let's say you have one l shape in the falling shape and one like this right then the falling is not possible right because they are they are, they are sharing a corner right here right as you can see they are sharing a corner so the falling or your orientation is not possible similarly if you have something like this you have one l shape like this and one l shape like this then the falling is not also possible right because they are they are sharing an edge now they are sharing an edge right so the falling is also not possible and if you have something like this let's say you have two boxes like this then the following is also not possible right because you are not able to form a l shape out of this you are not able to form a l shape out of this so these are the conditions right so you have been given a grid uh, and you, you have to answer in either yes or no if it is possible to create the entire grid just out of l shapes and no two l shapes should share a corner or an edge so that is the problem so how can we solve that so let's see that So the solution. Okay. So the very first thing that we need to take care about is that no two L shapes should share a corner or an edge. So the very first thing that we'll take care out of is that no two L shapes should share a corner or an edge. Right? So as no two L shapes are sharing a corner or an edge, you can like kind of call them islands, right? You can kind of call them islands. So if I copy the grid once again, right? You can call them islands, right? You have one island here. You have one island here, right? And you have one island here, right? Say something like this, right? So they are not sharing edges, right? No two L shapes. Right, right for the time being we are not thinking about l shapes we can we will just call them islands so it will be the case that they are not l shapes right so no two islands should share a corner or an edge right and as you can see these are just islands and size of every island is how much size of every island is equal to 3 size of every island is equal to 3 right so no two islands should share a corner or an edge and size of every island should be equal to three right? so so as you can see you can just use bfs right because you can use bfs or dfs to find connected components and their size so you can just uh, so you can just like uh, iterate over the whole grid and and run a bfs to see that all the islands are of size 3 right so there are no two islands that are like uh, sharing a corner or an edge right 
so you can just run a bfs to make it sure that all the islands are of size 3 so to satisfy the second condition we can just run a bfs on the entire grid to make sure all islands are of size 3 that is they are not sharing any edge or corner they are not sharing any edge or corner so now we have taken care of the of the second condition right so now no two l shapes will share a corner or an corner or an edge right so now we have taken care of the second condition so now we need to take care of the first condition that is just uh, like if the entire grid can be just made out of l shapes so there should be no other shapes in the grid right so now we know all the islands are of size 3 right so right there will be some islands that uh, that cannot be in the shape of an l right for example the following island is of size 3 but it is not in the shape of an l right but all these islands are of size 3 and they are in shape of an l right so after you have uh, like uh, assured that all the islands are of size 3 you can just iterate over the grid so now we need to take care of the first condition the first condition that is uh, all the shapes you can say all the islands should be l shape right so let's say your number of islands number of islands is equal to x number of islands is equal to x so if i draw a grid you have your l shapes right you will have your islands some of them uh, uh, will be in l shape and some of them uh, some of them can be not in l shape so something like this right so you know your number of islands you know your number of islands so what you can do is you can iterate over the whole grid and every l shape has the following cell right every l shape has an elbow right every l shape has an elbow right so you can count the number of elbow cells you can count the number of elbow cells so number of elbow cells is equal to just number of l shapes right because every l shape has an elbow right every l shape has an elbow so you can just count the number of elbow shells so sorry elbow cells right and that will be equal to number of your l shapes right so if you want to create your whole grid out of l shapes then your number of islands then your number of islands should be equal to your number of l shapes right and your number of islands are equal to x and your number of l shapes are equal to number of elbow cells right so your number of elbow cells should be equal to number of islands so that is the condition that all the islands sh should be in the shape of an l right for example in the following case we have three islands of size three, but there are only two elbow cells. There are only two elbow cells, right? The falling island has no elbow cell. The falling uh, island has no elbow cell, right? So your so your number of islands are equal to three, and your number of L chips is equal to number of elbow cells. That is equal to two, and three is not equal to two. So you cannot create the whole grid just out of L chips, right? So that is the solution. So let, let me summarize it once again. Let me summarize the solution. So the, so the first condition was that no two L shapes should share corner or edge, right? So for the time being, we like we, we ignored the L shapes and we just thought of them as islands of size 3 right so no two islands of size 3 should share a corner or an edge so for that we can just run a bfs and count island size and number of islands number of islands that is equal to let's say x and for the first condition that is entire grid can be made out of entire grid can be 
made out of L shapes, right? For that, we had to make sure that all the islands are L shaped. All the islands are L shaped, right? And for an island to be L shaped, for an island to be L shaped, it must have an elbow cell. It must have an elbow cell. So if you don't know what an elbow cell is, right? It is just a cell that has two adjacent, like that has two adjacent cells, right? That are colored. For example, uh, his elbow cell and it has the top cell and the right cell covered, right? So it is forming an L shape. So that's why the following cell is an elbow cell, right? So all the islands should be L shaped. That means number of islands should be equal to number of elbow cells. And you can just check and you can just use this to check if the number of if all the islands are L shaped or not. If all the island islands are L shaped, the number of islands will be equal to number of elbow cells. The answer is yes. Otherwise, the answer is no. Yeah, so that was it for the solution. And the, uh, the problem is mainly implementation based. So you guys must have your own solution. So that is completely okay. So let me show my code for the problem. Yeah, so here's the code. So I'm taking in inputs as NNM. I'm creating two grids. One is my grid V that will uh, store my value zero and one if a cell is colored or not. Uh, and the second is the bested. It will be used in my BFS, right? And I'm using a Lambda function is okay. Uh, it will help in my BFS to check if a cell can be if a cell is colored and can be visited or not right so thus the cell should be inside the grid right that is the first four conditions second the cell should be colored and the cell and the cell should be unvisited right then i can like go to that cell so that is is okay so then i will take input of my matrix of my grid right and then I'll start my BFS. Then I will start my BFS. So I will iterate over all the uh, cells. And if the cell is and if the if the cell is colored and un unvisited, I will do a BFS. So my island size is equal to one in the beginning. I will push my point to Q and I will set it to visited. Then I will iterate over all the neighboring cells and do a do a BFS. And I will keep increasing my island size. I will keep increasing my island size. And at the end, I will check if my island size is equal to three or not. If my island size is not equal to three, then it means that there, there are some shapes that are sharing an edge or an corner, right? So the answer is false, right? Because no two shapes should share an edge or a corner. So if my island size is not equal to three, the answer is false. Otherwise, I have found a new island. So my island count, that is the number of islands are being incremented. So after doing BFS and counting the number of islands, I will count the number of L shapes. I will count the number of L shapes. So I will iterate over. Uh, I will iterate over every cell, right? And I will count if uh, it if it, if it is an L shape or not, right? So I'm checking if the cell if the cell i comma j is an elbow cell or not. So th these are the four L shapes. So I am checking if the following cell is an elbow cell or not. So if my vi vi plus uh, sorry vi plus one j and vi j plus one is equal to equal to two that means the neighboring cells are colored that is my bottom cell and my right cell are colored then it is an elbow cell so i will decrease the number of island count similarly for the other three l shapes i will do the same thing and at the end if my island count is equal to number of elbow cells then my island can, then my island count will be equal to zero at the end right because i am decreasing the number of elbow cells so if my number of elbow cells are equal to uh, number of islands, then at the end, my island count will be equal to zero. So at the end, I can just check if my island count is equal to equal to zero, I can just return true. Otherwise, the answer will be false. So that is the entire solution. And if you guys have some doubts or some suggestions, feel free to join my Discord server and leave them there. And I'll be more than happy to talk with you guys. Yeah, so that is it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Also, if you guys don't know, Continuing Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs. 
and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourself also you don't need to worry if you guys think ki yaar mereko bhi coding aati nahi hai maybe fresher mereko bilkul nahi aata the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye